What's up, dudes? We got some sick tech news for you today. It's gonna blow your mind, bro. <laughs> You may recall from the netlink a few weeks ago the whole Tim Sweeney ordeal, with his concern about Microsoft trying to kill Steam and win 32 apps with the new UWP Windows platform. But it has been revealed today that the Windows exclusive Quantum Break will be coming to both retail and Steam on September 14th. There is a list for the minimum requirements, but the game will support Windows 7, so will not belong to the exclusive UWP platform. This game, which was originally said to be an exclusive Windows release, made a lot of people most of which Tim Sweeney, quite concerned about the future of gaming. But the fact that it isn't UWP is a pretty good sign. Only time will tell. But it's 40 bucks instead of 60 on the Windows Store now, in case you were wondering. This guy, um, Elon Musk, I think, has a company called Solar City, and he's announced that they plan to make roofs made of solar panels. You may remember last year when Google announced Project Sunroof, which promoted covering your existing roof with solar panels. Solar City's plan, however, is to build an entirely new roof made of solar cells. Musk says that this option looks way better and lasts far longer than a normal roof. The company has also indicated that 5 million roof replacements take place in the US every year, so Solar City would be looking to target this market specifically. The roof will be integrated with one of Tesla's backup battery packs, which could allow a home to operate constantly off of solar power. Yeah, all right, I mean, yeah, that sounds good, dude. Intel has bought the deep learning startup Nirvana System for more than $350 million. Or wait, $400 million? Um, well, somewhere between $350 million and over $400 million. <gasps> That's a lot of money. Anyways, in a blog post, Nirvana CEO said that it will continue development on effort related to its deep learning framework, platform, and hardware, and will join Intel's data center group once the deal is closed. Intel has stated that Nirvana's expertise will help boost the AR performance of its Xeon and Xeon Phi processors. This may just be a threat to NVIDIA, which has had a pretty big focus on deep learning. One of Nirvana's investors from Data Collective said, Intel didn't just buy something that is simultaneously faster and more power efficient than NVIDIA. Intel bought something that it can sell on boards and systems and even supercomputers to its customers ready to go that outpunches anything that Facebook or Google or Baidu or Microsoft has. Aww, sh**. It's time for... Shorter news stories said more quickly than the others. Why, thank you, my friend. It's an honor to receive a submission from a member of Monty Python. If you would like to make a video of yourself saying that and have it be played on this show, then send us a tweet. JDI, aka Japan Display Inc., has announced a new type of smartphone screen display the company calls Full Active Display. The JDI product has slim bezels on all four sides of the screen and is a 5.5 inch Full HD LCD display. The official Dota 2 forum has been hacked with nearly 2 million user records accessed, including emails, passwords, IP addresses, and usernames. Well, that's pretty bad. Bit Phoenix has announced its Aurora chassis featuring tempered glass side panels and a feature called SSD Chroma, which gives you the ability to customize and illuminate SSDs in the system. It's been announced that Deus Ex Mankind Divided will support Toby eye tracking, and there's a list of all of the eye tracking features that will be available in the game. Micron has announced Quant X branding for the 3D X Point memory, which is the company's counterpoint to Intel's Optane brand. Yo, Intel, where you at, dog? All the sources from today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. You know the business, and I know the chemistry. Brian Cranston. Hey guys, do you want a new graphics card and a game to go with it? Okay, cool. Buy an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950 or 960 from NCIX and you can get a free indie game. Either Dead by Daylight or Hard Reset Redux. Click over here or check the links down below for more details on this super slick, super sick deal. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you for watching. Click over here to watch more videos. Click over here to hit us up on Twitter. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below for fans with benefits. Now, I've got to go do something. Like, edit this video, for example. Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Don't really have a choice, to be honest. So. I'll have to see you later, or I'll see you on another time.